I have the latest information on the race for the White House or the presidency, along with some other information that I thought would be critical and that I thought I would bring to you right away because this is important. We've been talking about this over the last couple days regarding the House and the Senate and who's going to maintain control or who's going to gain control and what that's going to mean going forward looking at stimulus. All of us, we know we want stimulus. We're wondering when are we going to get it. Many of us are watching the presidential race right now very closely because we're looking forward into the future. Are we going to get stimulus? stimulus soon or is it going to be a few months out from now? So I wanted to give you this late update. I know this is a late video. I typically don't upload this late, but I wanted to bring it to you because this is a very interesting day as we're watching all of this unfold in real time. So let me bring you up to speed on what we know as of right now, as of this recording. By the time you watch this, it may be updated, but this is what we have as of right now. So with the presidential election and the presidential um, nominees, so President Trump as of right now has 109 electoral votes while uh, Biden, Joe Biden, has 134 electoral votes. So, however, this is with, I don't know how many states that encompasses, honestly, I didn't count, but we are still missing many of the key states, especially in the Southeast. There's quite a few key states down there that have not officially been added to that those tallies quite yet. However, there's quite a few states in the Midwest that are going to be... Um, uh, very important in this race. So we're still waiting on those final votes as well. But that's where we stand as of right now. But here's some other critical information that I wanted to bring to you, which is actually going to influence when we could potentially see stimulus. Is it going to be near or is it going to be far? Hopefully it's going to be near, um, but either way. So also, as we know, as of right now, it looks like the Democrats are going to maintain control of the House of Representatives. As we know, currently, the Democrats maintain or they have control of the House of Representatives right now. It looks like with everything that's shaken out with this whole thing going on right now with the elections, it looks like Democrats are going to contain or maintain control of the House of Representatives. Not only that, it looks like they're going to pick up about five seats. So, um, you know, when making the case for Democrats in the House of Representatives, uh, allowing them to vote and pass through these stimulus packages, of course, we know that Democrats, Democrats want bigger stimulus packages, right? And we know that Democrats are in support of them um, much more than Republicans are. So what we know is that by them picking up five seats in the House, of course, it was going to pass through the House anyway, these stimulus packages, but there you go. We'll probably have an additional five seats that will be helping out those voting going through. As far as the Senate goes, we don't know about the Senate quite yet as far as who is going to get control or maintain control of the Senate. As we know right now, the Senate is controlled by Republicans. We don't know if that's going to maintain uh, Republican tr control going forward or if it's going to be taken over by Democrats. We don't know that quite yet. However, what we do know about the Senate is it looks like Mitch McConnell, the leader, the Republican leader in the Senate right now, it looks like he has gained re-election. So it looks like Mitch is going to be back in for longer. So remember, Mitch McConnell is the guy who has been trying to push through that smaller, more targeted, um, skinny bill, the skinny um, stimulus package over the last, I don't know, couple months. It, you know, Mitch McConnell is that guy. So if you're unfamiliar with who he is, that's who he is. Not saying anything good or bad about him, just letting you know so you know you can kind of put a name and face with um, what we've been talking about here. So that's what it looks like as of right now. Uh, like I said, a lot of those key states in the Southeast and the Midwest have not reported yet, or the official tallies have not been added yet. I'm actually a little bit anxious to go and see what is going on because as of right now, it's still very close um, as far as the presidential race is going. Also, Pennsylvania, they started counting their votes today. In fact, as of this recording right now, I think a very small percentage of their votes have actually been tallied. Maybe like 20% or something, it's not very much. It's anticipated that their votes could still be counted throughout the rest of this week. And I believe they're still um, accepting votes through the end of this week. However, by the end of tonight or early tomorrow morning, we could have 
either one of these candidates, President Trump or Joe Biden, we could have either one of these people have enough, the 270 that they need to clinch the victory. So even without Pennsylvania, it, it could still happen that they may not even need Pennsylvania. So even if that state is still counting, Either, you know, late into this week, it may not even matter by later tonight or tomorrow morning. Honestly, I'm probably not going to stay up all night because this looks like this is going to drag out for many, many hours into the night, even though it's already pretty late here. Um, it's pretty interesting, though. It's definitely very entertaining to watch this whole thing play out in real time. Realistically, we only get this every four years, so it's kind of fun to... Uh, Pull, well, not an all-nighter, not for sure, not an all-nighter, but either way, it's still kind of fun to sit and watch this play out. So, also, like I talked about in my videos over the weekend, I produced two videos that I released over this past weekend, one building the case for a red wave, one building the case for a blue wave, both of those videos. I talked about what it would mean going forward for stimulus. I laid out four different scenarios in each of those videos what it would look like going forward for stimulus um, if we get any of those scenarios to play out. So it'll be very interesting to see by tomorrow morning, I think we'll have a much better idea on the landscape of who the next pre president is going to be. We already know that Democrats, it looks like, are going to maintain control of the House. We don't know on the Senate yet. However, that could be very influential as far as the next stimulus package. Um, you know, when it's going to come, when is it going to be negotiated, how big is it going to be, what is it going to include? Is it going to include those second stimulus checks? Um, in most scenarios, we know that the majority of these stimulus packages that have been proposed are including those second stimulus checks. However, a couple of the stimulus packages proposed, the skinny bills, do not include stimulus checks. So it's very important to see what happens in the Senate here. You know, maybe like I talked about in those videos over the weekend, if this, the House and the Senate are divided, as in the House is maybe Democratic while the Senate is Republican, again, that could pose a little bit of issue as far as passing these stimulus packages through. As we've been seeing over the last, what, five months now, the, you know, the, the banter going back and forth between the parties in the House and the Senate, basically what they want to approve, what they want to push through, what they're going to support, and what eventually they're going to vote on and send to the president's desk for a signature. So, of course, we don't know who that president's going to be quite yet. As of right now, it is still very, very close. They're only a matter of about, um, I don't know, less, it's about 25, 25 um, electoral votes apart from each other at this moment. So, certainly very interesting. I wanted to bring you this update because I know a lot of you have probably been waiting for an update today. It's certainly um, very interesting. So I'm going to get back to it. I'm going to watch some more, see what's going on. And of course, tomorrow is going to be an incredibly busy day. I'll probably have a couple of videos for you. Um, but yeah, at that point, I'll need to distill all of the information down into a couple of videos. It's going to be very busy. But either way, have a great night, everybody. I hope you're staying safe and I will see you again early tomorrow morning in the next